Okay, so below getting started, we have another tabs and they kind of all set in a panels. Um, later we look how we can customize UI in the way you want it. But for now, if you start on a basic mode, you'll notice right here we have a component kind of tab panel. And we also have these nodes that we can preview. And these nodes represent our plant. For example, represent trunk, repeating on trunk and representing branches. Some of those additional nodes that looping and other things, we'll look on them later. But understanding how the nodes work and what they do, it's actually very important because it allowed us to create this very complex plant, a very easy way and without drying. However, if you're interested in a drying, so let's do just that. I already said the component mode, it will help to you. So you'll notice right here, it's showing what mode you are with. You can switch this mode by uh, selecting different type. So for example, uh, let's look right there. We have the load component. So if you have a custom made component or some other ways you save it before, you can preload it and add component to your chain. So next icon, and if you left click, you can enable disable. This is create a different type of, um, this is enable painting mode and different type of painting mode. If you enable and right click with your mouse, you'll notice right here, we have all these options. The smart draw, which allowed application to determine what object they're going to put it. So as example, if it's enable and I start drawing, it's say I'm start drawing from the ground and it's created a root base and keep on going. So if I'm going to start drawing from next, let's see it is a branch and it will add branch. You can always switch and go specifically to different. For example, if I go trunk and start going from here, you can see this is does not fit because it is selecting trunk. So in many cases, after mode will work very well to switch and determine what part of the plant you are and help you uh, drawing in free mode. However, how you see if you right click, you can always go ahead and switch between this. So you have it, your smart drawing, drawing with selections, what we have it. If you also have draw a specific plant element that we already have it, you can also select and draw geometry and geometry will going to specific trunk. We also have some components, which is will be a twig, leaf or other elements. So we also can select them and go and select specific components. We want to draw if we already save it like right here, for example, and use it. Okay. Notice right here when I draw, Sometimes it's very hard because it does not showing it's a draw on the back. Even my plant is closer and it's the representative of the blue element. So if I start to draw with a blue element, it will draw as independent. And again, if it's showing with the green, it's mean it's attached properly. So in this case, so right there, you can see it's kind of going with plant going out of the so again, green, and that one is blue on the background. You can see right there. So same if we have the blue, this will go itself. Okay, this is quite a bit ugly plant. So let me reset it. Okay, and next what we're going to look at is the other option. Right now it's gray out, but this is a lot to add graph. So go directly when we start working with this. This is our component. And as I mentioned, right in a right area beside the component, we can see how they all work together and stuck. So for example, let's go to automatic draw mode. Okay, we'll go right there and we go smart draw, be sure it's here. And so I'm start drawing and you see I draw the trunk. Let's look what's happening in our mode. You'll notice right there we have our base, the root, and it's always will be invisible, but it is base where your plan started. Everything will go from this root. And we needed this root to assign some specific basic properties. We'll look on them in a second. And also, as we're going to create the children or additional nodes, they will start adding more and more. They can also split from this, but they are will generate it from our base base node. 
So let's say if I'm going, and again, I want to be sure it's not a blue. If I want to do from the plant, I want to be, it's a green. And I start making branch. Notice right here and after we'll add this branch for us. So and if I'm going to create a new branch right here. So we're adding additional branch inside our reference. So we don't necessarily need to create another component because our branch is created, but we're adding here. So what's happening if I'm going and click add leaf, for example, or draw the leaf? You'll notice right here when I add leaf on the branch, and it's kind of actually hard to see, but it's right there. So it does add some leaves to this. Okay, let's select and press delete. So in this case, we can remove the node. We don't need it. Or if I'm going and select draw, uh, for example, palm, and I'm drawing from this area right here, for example, you'll notice again, it's add to the trunk. So it does not necessarily add to our branch, but it's right here. It's where I put it to the root. And if I'm start drawing from the my branch, you notice how we also add selection. So again, it does not need to create another component because same component, it's just only in different position, but you see the connections will going between um, all of them. Okay. So as we creating and we adding and selecting nodes, you'll notice on the bottom below, it start coming up this info and it's help us to understand what actually the node does. So for example, we select root, it says info root, and it provides some information um, what is about. Keep this one for beginning list till you get very familiar with the some nodes, what that does. It give you helpful reference about what is component or segment, what it does, and also will guide. Um, many cases, even when I work for some time, I will forget about this. So it does help me to go over and say, oh, okay, this is what is meaning about or what I can use it or how complex it is. So we're all right here. We kind of overview about components with the um, node graphs, with the painting, freehand painting or selectable painting. When you right click and you can add specific options. Um, don't worry about those ones. We'll come back to a little bit more advanced. We'll, when we switch to advanced mode, we'll look more on them. Just overall right now, try to open, create, play around with different settings, create plans. And any times when you create a very ugly plan, you want to start over. Remember, just click new. If you want, you can save your work or start and begin from zero from clean plane.